So I have a lot of pressure with those very good tools that were before me. So I'm speaking about uh, CMake, not many options left, surviving in a world of toolchain files and of options. So the thing that I would like to um, basically show is that it's not a good idea to mix toolchain file and option, but if you do, uh, give you some uh, knowledge to handle this. Essentially, uh, CMake toolchain file is very nice because you can put all your build options into one uh, file and you can just pass one parameter to your build uh, so that you don't need to repeat a ma massive list of parameters. And you can use that everywhere so that you reduce the differences between different runs between different developers and also between your CI, between developer builds. But uh, on any good thing, it's, uh, on any coin, there is another side. Uh, and if you flip it, um, we can also see these advantages. It means like for every other build variant you need, you need to basically create a new toolchain file. You need to make the build option, you need to actually have a file pair option. This makes the life a bit less customizable. But we have options in CMake, right? So we can just use it. And uh, let me take you on a very confusing <laughs> CMake adventure there. So the very simplest uh, toolchain file, uh, the first line uh, on the top set use awesome feature equal one to actually enable this uh, feature, which is awesome. Uh, on, in the CMake list, we have the option uh, so that different build types would enable it or disable it. And uh, the problem is, if I run that build, does anyone know in uh, CMake 3.12 what uh, happens, what, goes, what is printed, like before CMake 3.12? Nobody. So if you if you run that, uh, you actually will get off. But you put in the toolchain file on. So why is it off? Okay, there is an off on the default option, but the toolchain file sets it, so it should be using it. And that's okay. That's a problem, but maybe you, we can fix it. The the worst thing is that if you rerun the build after changing something else, like in the CMake list, you don't change anything about these uh, features and so, then CMake will trigger reconfigure, and this time the value will be on. Uh, so that creates like flaky option settings, essentially. And uh, what if we set it as a user on the command line? So I put uh, equal off, and uh, I still have on in my toolchain file. And OK, it's off, because it was off anyway before, any, any, any way before. But if I have a reconfigure, I set it now, so I expect it to be always off. It actually will be on. And <laughs> This is, this is very uh, confusing, and that has been fixed in CMake, and I will come to it. But uh, in case you have uh, toolchain files that need to run on different versions of CMake, you can start using uh, cache variables, because actually option between before 3.12 will basically only listen to cache variables, or almost only. Cache variables is very complex. And uh, then if you put it in the, in the cache, then if I set it to one in a toolchain file, it's on uh, in, my, uh, in, in my project, uh, in my build. And if I reconfigure, it's on. So I'm happy. Uh, everything's solved, right? The problem is, no, I have to put everything in toolchain files. And um, I, I cannot really override the options. But uh, let's say I change the option in the toolchain file then. Uh, and because it's written, it's on, so I put it to off. And uh, my, uh, I rerun the build, or I push that to VCS, and I rerun the build. And uh, what happens is that it's on, because it kept uh, the value that I, that I set before in the cache. It doesn't override the cache again. Uh, so it's a very good generator for problems, like in a team, like some guy like, modifies the, or some person modifies the, 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 the toolchain file to fix something, and the other one just pulls and rebuilds, and it still actually fails uh, building. So what can we do about that? Um, <laughs> I, I, I basically uh, can set force. If I take off cache bool force, then, uh, then it's sure I, it will be set off and it will be always overwritten. So this way, it always works on uh, older versions of CMake. You can be sure that the value that is in your toolchain file will be taken. Uh, that's why I've been using that for a while. And um, naturally, it is, is uh, governed by a change in uh, CMP 77 in CMake 3.13 and also CMP 126 in 3.21. It's very interesting reads. Uh, generally, it creates a lot of headaches. Um, the problem is when they change the default, and now you don't need anymore to put uh, the uh, cache force because no options, as you can see, is option honors normal variable. So how oh, awesome, they fixed it. So I can set my variable in my toolchain file and it will be off. So I'm happy, everything's solved. They fixed it for me. But if something looks too nice, uh, it's, it's certainly a bad idea to, to trust it. And so now I want to be able to override this in the case of multi multiple uh, toolchain files. And in one case, I want to change it because I want to test something. So I, I set it on the command line and then it's still off. 
So uh, the, it's not respecting, it's not possible to override anymore or at all uh, an option that is set in a toolchain file. So better don't use any option if you, if you, if you can. But uh, if you want to have both, uh, <laughs> both options, uh, we basically solve the first problem with CMakeArray array by design because we generalize toolchain. And the other one, uh, to be able to make it uh, essentially um, overridable, uh, so that you essentially can override the options. You, you, we are building now a new small tool that is named Toolchain Overridable Option. It's the same as option, but at least it works um, because it's fun to rewrite everything. Uh, you can then use it in your, uh, your CMake list and you don't get these problems anymore. And the only difference is like writing Toolchain Overridable in front so that you can basically uh, use options sanely. You can help us act on it. It's open in a pull request on our HFC, which is an hermetic fetch content. Is ex it's like basically making dependency resolution for C++ and C make faster. And uh, if you're interested uh, to get a very fast build on 10,000 of cores, uh, my shameless plug as a sponsor, uh, you can uh, request for a free trial on cmakeareal.com. Thank you so much.